Next question is from Becker1127. I want to help my 65-year-old father get back into shape. He has arthritic knees and pain in his lower back that I believe is due to weight gain. What are some routines or techniques you would suggest to get started? Uh, you got to meet him where he's at. That's number one. So be very uh, conscious and honest about where he's at. He's deconditioned, overweight, painful knees. Prime pro. He's probably not exercising at all, and he probably has a poor diet. Meet him there. Okay, so now that you're where he's at, move him forward just a little bit. Now, as far as exercise routine is, is concerned, Adam's correct. MAPS Prime Pro would be the perfect program to recommend to your dad because it's based entirely on correctional exercise. But besides that, he needs to start very, very slowly. And I can't stress this enough. Do not use your standards to judge what is considered slow. Use your dad's place where he's at. I, I made this mistake all the time. I'd get a mm -hmm. client that would come in totally deconditioned and I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, three sets of squats. That's that's easy. Let's just do three sets of squats. Then they they call me and be like, I'm sore. I'm sore. I can't move. I'm sore for five days. And I just wouldn't realize like three sets of squats is easy for me and easy for people who work out. But somebody who never exercises, three sets of squats is way a lot, mm -hmm. way too much. What I should have done is one and then maybe done some stretching and some correctional work. And that would have been much more appropriate. So focus on correctional exercise, number one, with, with nutrition. Uh, start very slow. I would say rather than taking foods away, uh, start with adding foods in. So rather than saying, hey, dad, stop eating the pancakes or stop eating this, say, hey, let's have you uh, throw in some steamed vegetables uh, once a day. Let's start with that. That's a great way to start, and it's easier for people to start from there than it is to start restricting right out the gates. Yeah, trying to identify the limitations is everything. And I mean, this is why I've always been like very uh, focused on ways to assess clients and to properly kind of go through the, uh, you know, the functionality of the joints and see where we're healthy, where, you know, the deficiencies lie. And, uh, you know, this was a... I mean, this was everything to me in terms of like having uh, a professional, you know, title behind like being a personal trainer. Like th it's our job really to be able to help identify these things for people. So that way they know, uh, you know, what they can do and, and what they can build upon and work towards. And so like for us to kind of like wrap our brains to make that, you know, a more simple process, something that's a little more straightforward where you can just have them lie down on the ground and then, you know, just regain access to certain muscles and be able to just lift their hips and then see where there's pain, you know, by moving their legs in certain positions and all that kind of stuff is super valuable for somebody like this, where it's like they're riddled with pain. They don't really know like what's going to work, what's not going to work. So uh, again, like kind of coming back to why, you know, Prime Pro is a good suggestion. There's just, it's a simple process of being able to just be in certain positions. Does this hurt? Does this not hurt? Mm. You know, let's build, you know, towards more range of motion, like get your arm to go a little further and, and, and just like go through those channels. So that way, then we can load the body properly and we can so you know body weight exercises and just kind of like paying real close attention to what your body is telling or what his body is telling him is everything yeah what, the way i would start because i used to love working with people just like this right 65 or older deconditioned uh pain here's how i used to start them as a personal trainer so let's say your dad comes in asks me about you know what training looks like i would recommend one day a week that's how I'd start. Hey, you know, Mr. Johnson, I'm going to train you once a week to start with. Now, I knew this. This took me years to figure out, but I realized that once a week was perfect to start with. Now, eventually, I'd get him up to two days or three days, and then I'd get him up to doing some kind of activity on a regular basis. But we would start with once a week. Then when he'd come in, we'd start out with some stretching. We'd start out with some correctional exercise. Um, some correctional exercise movements. I would do some light resistance training movements in between sets. I'd have him move his body. I might do a little myofascial release where I'm pressing on certain muscles. And the first few workouts are very, like he would leave the workout feeling better than when he walked in. The idea was to get him to, to at the end of the workout to go, wow, hmm. I feel really good. I feel more energized. The idea was not to have him at the end of the workout be like, wow, I got my butt kicked. That was a really hard workout. Wrong approach. Very, very slow, uh, but you know, relatively consistent. And the the potential for someone like this to progress is phenomenal. 
You get someone like this, oh my God, at the end of a year with this very slow incremental approach, he could he could very easily be at the end of the year pain free mm -hmm. um, and feeling like a completely different person. And the value in that is just uh, absolutely tremendous.